I find it to be very unfortunate. I really do. I think it's sad. Marvin Trusty shares his feelings after a shooting Thursday night at the Carolina Express store that left three people injured. Less than 24 hours later, bullet holes and broken glass doors still remain. For Trusty, who's lived around here for decades, he says whatever the reason behind it, it was a selfish act by the shooter. You don't have to shoot up a store where you got a beef. If you got a beef with one individual, you don't have to spray. It could be anybody coming out of that store. It could be your grandma. It could be your granddaughter. And surveillance video obtained by CBS 6 shows how it played out. Shortly after 8 p.m., several people were standing inside and outside the store. The people outside react first as the shooter appears to come from behind a fence across the street and opens fire. You can see the apparent muzzle flashes in the top part of the screen here. While on the inside on this camera, you can see at least two bullets crash through the door as the people there dive to the floor. A clerk at the store says no sort of argument preceded the shooting and he heard about 20 shots. Richmond police say of the three people shot, two have life-threatening injuries, while the third is considered non-life-threatening. And while the store works to repair the damage from this shooting, scars remain from the one that happened nearby in August that injured four people. And Trusty adds whoever the shooter was in both situations, their actions not only impact the people there at the time, but the store and neighborhood as a whole. I'm sure you have a lot of people today who say, I'm not coming up to that store, simply based on the fact that somebody sprayed it last night. So look at that. How is that serving the community when you've disenfranchised somebody's here that's actually trying to provide for the community. Now, on Saturday morning, 6th District Councilwoman Ellen Robertson, who represents the area, says she'll be holding a press conference in the wake of this shooting. Meanwhile, there were police officers out here canvassing the area this evening, and they are still asking for any help on this. And if you have information, please contact Major Crimes or Crime Stoppers at 804-780-1000.